Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we're going to pull off a mission on, on the planet surface down here. I think we're going to avoid doing a mission against clans today. Uh, our urban mech is still haven't come back from repairs yet. Um, it still needs to be, uh, there's some stuff on here that needs to be fixed. Locust still has to come back from being generally repaired and then up, we have need to upgrade it with stuff. We've got a bunch of stuff we can add in. We've got ultra, um, an ultra light gyro or an extra light gyro. Uh, clan XL engine. We've got an NSS system that we still need to put in a mech somewhere. So we've got a bunch of gear to, to include, but um, today what I want to do is have a quick look in the storage here. And I want to have a look at the kind of mechs that we need here, uh, or mech parts that we need. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the light mechs, but mediums here. Um, we've got a bunch of parts of Vindicators here, so we're looking for Vindicator parts. Uh, we've also got a bunch of Wolverine parts as well. So we're looking for Wolverine, also Hunchback parts, a uh, chance to get a Hunchback. I think really it's just those three. There's also Blackjack 2 parts here as well. Um, so there's four different types of mechs that we could possibly pull off. There's another Blackjack part up here. So yeah, so that's not too bad. And then the heavy mechs, we've got seven pults, uh, parts of a Catapult 1R, six parts of a Rifleman, and um, four parts of a Mad Dog, but which we're not going to be going against clans, so that's not really uh, uh, an issue right now. And then on the under the Assault category, we've got seven parts of a Zeus right now too, so it'd be kind of nice to pick up a Zeus. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So let's go and have a look at the contracts. And there's a few in here which we could probably do, as long as we're not going against the clans, I think we'll probably be okay. So there's Noisy Neighbors, um, that's Clanian Enforcers, which we have to stay away from that. There's, what's biological sample here? Is that a dir uh, director at research facility? Scientific materials, recovery mission. Is there a straight up fight here? That's a recovery. Uh, this is a one skull low. Interdiction, pirate convoy. Um, I think we want to go a little higher than that. Trap sprung might be an option. Powerful mech sporting. Um, Single mech operating on its own. We don't know who we're up against. Oh, Clan Fire Mandrel. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. So I don't know if it's really worth doing a mission here. I mean, we could do some of these smaller ones, but I don't think we're going to find the mechs we need here. So let's have a look at the star map. And let's jump maybe back a little more into... into uh, um, yeah, we can go to Borgies here. Not much really there, though. Got to come back off here somewhere. 12 days to Arcturus. We, we just came from Arcturus. Maybe we go back there for a bit. So before we do that, let's go to the store. And let's sell a few things here. Just go quick and sell. Um, let's ditch the, AC, let's ditch the AC2. What else do we have? We could sell the regular Gauss rifle because we do have a clan one. So let's just sell the regular Gauss rifle. That should probably be enough. We don't need to sell any more than that. And let's make our jump. Okay, let's go back to our tourists. Let's travel. Oh, wait. Uh, before we do that, we better make sure we have... Oh, we do have enough. An extra 50,000. So we need 370 and we got 442. So we're okay. Concern there for a second, we run out of money on the way there. So let's travel. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Ooh, and we should probably. Well, uh, one day. That's kind of nice. We're going to need to um, update our mechs as we're going. So we've got to decide. Let's pause this for a second. We've got to decide where we're going to do the NSS system. That's really what I'm most concerned of. Um, see, Firefly's got ferrofibrous, and the Spider does, the Jenner does, Commander doesn't have anything, the Urban Mech doesn't have anything, and I'm wondering if, see, we're missing a Guardian ECM on this too, so let's refit this guy first. I know we have a, I know we have a Guardian kicking around, so let's pull this out and pull this out, go to Equipment, we can add a heat sink back in, and let's add, um, 
What do we got here? Guardian ECM, put that back in. Okay, so that's where we were. Um, the regular case. It's half a ton, though. Um, I'm wondering if we could... I don't think we have enough machine guns, though. What do we have here, machine gun-wise? We've got four regular machine guns and a machine gun array. So, if we make this guy a faster mech... Just bear with me here for a second. Let's say we take out the AC-5. Now, we have to leave this, this many heat sinks in because we've got a tiny engine. But, if we pull a tiny engine out... And let's say we go with... Something a little bigger. What's our smallest engine right now? A 215. It's 12 and a half tons though. Not going to leave us any room really for weapons, unfortunately. Although we could take, we only need two heat sinks. So we could take out one, two, three, four, five, six. We still just don't have enough room for weapons. We need to get a better core. Like around a 170 or something, I think would be perfect. So let's revert this back, and for now we'll just update it with a new Guardian and another heatsink. Um, and I think what I'll do, how much is this weapon mount weigh? Half a ton. Um, there's our Guardian here. I think I will, for now, I think what I'll do is I will drop this in here. It's going to give us an extra two evasion, and this Guardian gives us another one, so it's going to give us three. Plus one defense against being hit. Um, this gives us reduced visibility and cover. Generates extra heat, but right now we're really, really heat neutral anyway. Yeah, we got tons of heat sinking, so I think we're fine. Um... Yeah, let's go this route, I think. Um, this is a pirate engine. Bonus walking and sprinting distance. We don't want to lose that. Maximum heat, maximum overheat. Six engine slots reserved. So, I wonder if we... Hmm. I think maybe this will be beneficial on this guy. And I think also, too, we could add... So just getting a little crazy here. Put the gyro. We can't get the gyro in there. We have to pull up the pirate engine. Um, that's losing heat efficiency though. If we put the extra extra light gyro in. Man, well, we gain half a ton. It's not much. I mean, we'd have to put the Klein XL engine in this guy. That's it's only still only half a ton. Yeah, so it's not really worth it. Let's leave this in here. The 10% walking and sprinting distance really isn't giving us much either. Um, but I think I will leave the breaching cockpit in and a 20% increased sensor range just so we can get that AC-5 firing on target a little better. Uh, maybe we take out the medium laser as well. It's one ton, but we could also... Um, well, I was thinking we could also put a couple, a couple more machine guns in, but there's only 100 rounds here. 150 rounds, and this is spilling out, what, 10? Yeah, it's not really worth it, I don't think. I think we're probably good right here. So let's confirm this. Right. I'll get it in the and what else needs breaching shot? Phoenix Hawk, what do we have? We, have a, we, don't, we don't really have any big punchy weapons on these guys. I wonder if, um, what helmet do we have on this guy? Targeting computer. Injury, which we need on that one for sure. Cockpit injury on that one for sure. Spiked helmet, yes. Uh, we don't have a cockpit in the Jenner, so let's put one on the Jenner. So let's put in. Um, let's put the let's put the breaching shot cockpit in this guy. Or injury resist. Well, we're, that's for melee too, right? So let's put the injury. Let's put that guy in there like that. Um, let's confirm this. Okay, I want to have a look at this spider again too. So we got two wrecking balls. A little bit of weight left over. 
We got the right helmet in, plus 10 melee. Now, is there any way to get in? That's the ultralight gyro. I think we're going to pull the ultralight gyro out of this guy. Um, oh, we don't have room to put it in here because of the medium laser. Right. Huh. I mean, if we leave the medium laser out and go full melee... Spike Fist is only one ton. Disables arm mounted weapon bonus, yeah, which we don't really have. Plus five additional base melee damage. 30% stability, plus 100% melee critical chance. So let's go this route. We want the spike fist. So let's replace the hand with the spike fist. And we got the spike leg boots still. Anything in here? We got claws. Now, does this just fit in the hand slot? I guess it doesn't, does it? Oh, we don't have the space for it anyway. Hmm. Claws would be nice, but what do we ditch for that, though? Like, that's the thing. We need to keep the Angel ECM in there. And we'd have to pull out the Pharaoh, but there's no... It's one and a half tons, so there's no way we can replace that. I mean, we can put the Clan XL engine in, but it's not worth it. Taking the medium laser out is not worth it. Um, can't lose any heat sinks. I guess we have to take the medium laser. It's the only thing I can think of. We could pull the medium out, go to weapons, and let's put a small in. So we're over by a little bit. Let's lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that. A little bit of armor, not much. Um, and I think that's probably where we want to go with it. Heat efficiency. Sh Efficiency sh should still be really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And our melee damage, do we have an idea what the melee would be here? Maximum damage 105. But melee weapon... So base damage is 45. So 45. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5. So yeah, it's pretty like 60 per per spike wrecking ball. Is, are those considered? I guess not. It's just 60 damage plus 60% damage for the mech. Plus an extra additional 5 base melee damage. So I wonder if the claws would be better here. Plus 2 melee accuracy plus 70% melee damage plus 10 base melee damage. It's probably better. So if we take the spike fist out we put the claws in this arm. We have. We don't think we have the space though. Um, hmm. So I guess spike fist it is. What if we change? Hammer fist is how many? Uh, it's more slots. Uh, there's really not much else we can do here. I think we'll leave it like that. Let's confirm this. It's four days. See how this does. Hopefully we can find a bonus small laser. And then the commander I think is fine as it is. I don't think there's anything we can really add to this guy. Um, let's go to the centurion here for a second. Um, if we put... Clan XL in. It's going to give us four tons and we need an additional two slots. Not much we can do about that either. Um, let's put a hand back in this guy. 
Yeah, I think we have to leave it as as is right now for this guy. If we do that, four tons, let's say we take the heavy pharaoh off. 2.38. So we'd still, we'd only be gaining like a ton in a bit. It's not enough. Um, so this is the same weapon mount. Okay, let's confirm this. Right. I'll get and it maybe... Soon. Maybe... Can we get that weapon mount in this guy somehow? Be nice to have the bonus to hit on this guy. Um, it's a half a ton. Now, do we have any more... We got a 0.25 ton patchwork materials we could add in. And then lose 0.25 of a ton. I really hesitate to do that though. Like we could go one, two, three, four. Having the bonus to hit though on these weapons when we're already having a hard enough time to hit is probably the best way to go. I really need this guy to be hitting more often. I think we'll go this way. Wait, we got a we can can we get an XL gyro in here too? We can. That's gonna give us another ton. We can't add weapon systems. We could add armor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm. He's also got the light engine. I think we should leave it at that because he's the one being targeted. I don't want to get him to take damage. So if we go this route, let's check the store for a second. Let's see if there's another arm weapon mount in there. Um, let's just scroll down just to see if there's anything else that we might want. It'd be nice if there was another weapon mount. There's not. Okay, we can't really do much there. So let's leave it. Um, Let's take out the patchwork materials because we can use it elsewhere. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that, I think. Let's keep that CT safe. Yeah, let's go that route, I think. And we'll confirm it. Okay, so I think that's some pretty good upgrades right now. So we're going to be, if we manage our tasks here, a little better. Let's move the spider up. So it's four, two, and two, one and one. So two, one and one. Okay, so that should work out to six days, I think, in total. So let's try that. And let's finish our travel time here. So we got Hickory back now, which is good. Looks like we might get there right on the financial report. Here's our second jump. Should still have enough cash to get there. So I'm feeling a little better now. We've marginally improved our lances. Thank you. And two more days. There's our financial report. Accept that. Alrighty. Let's see if she can fix it again. Oh well. Alright, let's see what's in the store here. Just want bonus weapon systems for stuff that we've already got. Um. That's, I think, what I would enjoy the most out of this. SRM double plus, plus one SRM damage. Eh, cockpits, weapon mounts, here we go. Plus two accuracy with arm mounted weapons. 
Minus four million. What's the difference between these two? 20% firing arc. Okay, this one's a little better. So we really want this guy. Let's sell something here and pick that up real quick. Uh, what do we got to sell here? There's laser LB20X. We want to hang on to those. LRM10s. I think we can, well, let's hang on to that for now. PPC, rocket launcher 15. Don't really need that. Not really a big rocket launcher fan. I've seen plenty of builds, but the fact that it's, you can't get sustained damage out of it, that's the thing that bothers me the most, I think. Let's just sell one of these guys. One fusion core. That should give us more than enough cash, and then we'll buy the arm mount. Here we go. Let's buy this. And we will go to base. And now we got to take off that armor that we just put on. Because we're going to take the hand off this guy. Go to equipment. Yeah, we did that for nothing, but whatever. I don't know if we would be able to buy one or not, but there we go. So we'll go, uh, what do we do? We took some off here. And there, and there, and there. So we'll leave it like that. It's going to give us a little bit better chance to hit with this guy. He's missing an awful lot, so um, hopefully that helps out. So let's confirm this. And since we were working on Max, let's just get this Locust refit here. Actually, we don't have an engine for this guy, so we can't really do anything with him. We're going to need to get an engine first, I think. So let's see what kind of uh, contracts we're up against here. Really hoping for some half-decent, like, two uh, skull contracts. Really want to get that um, catapult. Be nice to have that guy in. Make him his fire support and then turn the uh, um, Centurion into a close ranged um, SRM boat. I want to get some SRM dead fire ammo and some bonus SRMs as well. So let's go to barracks again so that we can wait for these fin contracts to finish loading. Clicking on Mech Warriors and waiting and waiting. Come on. Let's do this, guys. Alright. I don't think there's much we can upgrade anyway. We did some upgrading before. So, yeah. I mean, we could go with Guts. Minus 5% heat generation, but we're pretty okay with that guy. Yes, Havoc. Um, definitely need the health, so let's get that. Uh, Hickory's out of being injured. And we do have our called shot bonus, finally. Um, minus 5% heat generation or minus 5% stability damage taken. I think we're going to hold off on both of these guys. And I think we're going to wait for more gunnery. So, hogweed, nothing we can do here. Pylon, uh, we're still waiting for more gunnery on pylon, I think. Um, or we could work on getting... Let's work on getting the called shot bonus, I think, for him. Um, Raider, let's just hold off on you for now. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we could go this route. I think we probably should. But let's hold off. Let's just work on our main lance right now. Uh, so we're waiting for this up here. Actually, we're working towards call shop bonus for this guy, I think. But we're going to wait. Um, Riddler, I think, is fine. And a Warlock, we can finally get the gunnery up to four, which is good. Okay, cool. So let's have a look now at our contracts. Now that this list has flushed itself out a bit. So we've got a ton of small ranged contracts, which our Light Lance can handle. Um, once that's up and running again. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Defend base, not interested in that. Assassinate at two skulls. People here are just being part of the talk of insurrection rebellion events based on Lyrian Alanis or Lyrian Alanis reports. We believe there's a Hell's Horsian propagandist. Yeah, so let's not go after that. Um, God, really? Lost supplies, Hell's Horse. Um, coalition territory, coalition agents. Covering the Badlands. Wow, really? Settling a grudge against who? Abandoned. I have no idea what that is. Contested will. Capture base. 
on Kenny Gael, Hell's Horses General, Officers Moving in the Open. Well, let's see if we've got a uh, Clan Coyote Battle in the Lowlands. Penitent Justice, an Escort. Clan Coyote. Ah, This is a tough one. But that's a lot of salvage if we can get low end clan max on this. Let's try this one. We can always retreat, but let's negotiate this and let's go full salvage on this. Because we can get a lot of clan stuff off this if we get lucky. So let's accept it. Gonna go with the main lance. Oh, Phoenix Hawk is not quite back yet. So let's go back real quick. We think it's just one day or something like that, isn't it? One or two days? Three days. For an arm mount, really? I guess so. Alright, so let's do that then. Thinking we can probably pull this guy off. It's going to extend this episode, make it really long, but I'm thinking it's going to make it really fun. So let's deploy. Actually, let's get uh, Riddler out of here. Let's get Hickory back in. And let's deploy and get this done. Ah, great. Alright, well let's hope that... Uh, there's no clan fire starters here. Okay, here we go. All right, let's reserve. All right, Command pile on. See what we're up against, buddy. Mister Shell shocked himself. Okay, we got a vehicle. Yay! Two vehicles and two mechs. Okay. Who's moving first here, mech? Okay, interesting. Let's get cold metal in here. Can move into this area. What do we got here? Piranha. Look at all those machine guns. Oh my god. All right. Get on this guy. A lot of splash, but not much we can do about that. Epona. Gotta kill that guy fast. Wonder how much armor it's got. It's got Clan LRM 15s, I think. So I'm thinking that that's one of the things we probably want to pick up. LRM 20s. Light tag. Hmm. ER mediums. Okay, well, it's got wait, 480 armor. How much is that for a side here? 100 points. Not too bad. What do you need? Okay, Hickory, let's get up. Oh, God. Let's make sure we got enough evasion here. Acknowledged. Okay, let's move back here. Going to make our way to the left, I think. And we're going to open up on 30%. 30% doesn't matter, so let's fire on this guy. Eat this. Wow. Handful of hits. Okay. Okay, that... Oh, it's a pulse laser. As long as I don't see Goss rifles flying. Yeah, there is. Need you up here, buddy. Alright, that's a full out. Okay. So, we don't have offensive push, unfortunately, so we're going to dump everything on this piranha. Oh, three hits. Nice. A lot more than I thought I'd get. What's this guy? Aries? Wonder if this Firefly might be better off using the NSS. 
Like we can lo lose a weapon and you put the NSS on. ER large and a pair of LRMs with respectable armor. Okay. Don't know what that guy at the back is yet, but um, What's up, Commander? I don't know if I want you in this close. There's a ton of machine guns. But I'm thinking we can do this and push him back a turn. We're going to try for this leg and we'll fire everything. Probably not going to hit. Yeah, I didn't hit, but at least we push him back a turn. I guess you call that a miss. Yeah, you would call that a miss. Okay, ultra something, I think. Okay, now question is, yeah. is do we get... Do we get... Um, let's move over here. Um... I'm wondering if we should send Pylon up here against the Epona. Let's fire on this guy. Better chances to hit now. We're on the side. We might get some good shots on that leg. Okay, he's unsteady now. Here comes those machine guns. Okay, at least it's against the side that I got lots of armor on. And no real weapons. Um, Good to go. Twenty-four. That's not bad chance to hit there. What if we shoot on just for the sake of argument way better down here that's outside that's a better range right there let's do this on the move it's got less evasion I think but I'm thinking overall might get lucky and get a shot on this leg and take this leg off. So let's fire everything. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh, there's one leg. Another shot in the leg. Another shot in the leg. No? Okay. Oh, we got tons of missiles coming here in a second. So we can leg them and put them on the ground. God, let's look at those LRMs. Taking this for evasion and being in the trees. All right. So we're going to sprint um, to here. And we're going to dump everything into the side of this guy. There goes the leg. Torso, so one pilot injury. Second one from a knockdown. Nice. So Hickory's going to try for a headshot now. Okay, so he's got an indirect fire. That's good. Okay, recoil. I need you back here, buddy. Ah, uh, where though? No, if we're going to do that, let's get ourselves in the trees here. And we're going to target this guy. Going to try for a headshot. Fire everything. everything and he bailed. Nice. Oh, it's an urban mech. What has he got, though? Is that an Ultra 5? Oh, it could be an Ultra 10. No, if it's a clan mech. Yeah, Ultra 10, medium pulse. That's a pretty good loadout for, a, uh, for an urban mech. Alright, Hickory, um, we gotta kill this opponent. Um, jeez, how are we gonna do this here? Okay, let's move in here. 
and we're gonna push him back a turn. I want everybody to go on this guy. So we're gonna try for a side shot and leave off the small plus, fire everything else. So one medium laser hit. Plenty of missiles. Let's see what happens here. 63, okay. I'm thinking we should use the Centurion next. Okay, so let's get... Actually, Pylon can't melee that guy. You know what? Let's just get Pylon up here. If he's, if he's the only guy that Urban Mech can see, maybe he'll try for him. And let's fire on the side of this guy. Ooh, nice shooting. Glad I added those arm mods. Okay, so this guy's down to a whole lot less on the front and side. Um, cold metal. Let's get up here. And we'll just fire everything on this guy's side. Come on. There we go, okay. A couple of LRM-20s don't need to worry about. I'd like to get those in the loot table if I could. Okay, so it turned out to be a good match. For us, anyway. Oh, no. Yeah. That, he hit you hard, buddy. Good thing he split that up, because that would have been really, really bad. Um, wow. Where do I go? Up here, probably. Double time. Let's go. Yep. What do you need? So that was it for the Irby. So if we get down here, let's say. Got it. No shooting, just running. No, no, we got shooting too. Got lots of shooting. We're going to try and burrow through this guy's side. Fire everything under the side here. I'd rather have the Ultra 10 than the, the Clan Pulse. Because I think the Centurion, once we get another uh, mech to be the LRM boat, um, the Centurion will work really well with the Ultra 10. So let's move down here. And we'll dump everything into the side of this guy. It's a good thing this guy's really slow. Okay, head hit. Nice. Pylon. Let's get right on this guy. Okay. Six in the leg, 26 in the torso. So if we take them both... Let's just fire straight out. Oh, you burned right through his side. Did you get him? Ah, no knockdown. Damn, he goes first. Oh, he meleeed. He meleeed, really? Did he lose his ammo from that side? He's got 46 in his CT. No, his ultra's still going. Ammo's in the arm. Okay. Um... Let's try something that we normally don't do. Got it. Okay, there's a hit. How much instability did he get? Fair bit. Ready for order. Can we melee him? We can't. Uh, but we can move down here. Get our stability back. And we're going to shoot just like... Three mediums into his back, see what happens. Okay, there's the leg, he's gonna go down and we'll get... I bailed. Excellent. And this vehicle... Okay, he's gonna be able to see us now. This isn't it either, we're still gonna have a whole nother lance. We're gonna have to go through the other lance too to be able to get to our extraction point. So... move here. Fire straight in this guy's side. 
Wow, look at the spread on that. Okay. Let's get on the rock. Here. I don't want to have to, like, come all the way back up. Let's go with these guys. And almost gone. Okay, so what has he got left here? 14 points. Um, yes, command. Alright, let's see if we can hit him, buddy. Let's give you the kill if you can get it. And fire. There we go. Okay, blocking force down. All right, so yeah. we're going to move up here. Roger. Okay, and Stand pylon. By. We're going to use um, recoil to activate them. Because I want to get um, the guys that are least damage up front. And we'll leave recoil to um, escort the guys along while we move into position. I don't think we're going to get... Um, I don't think we're going to get reinforcements on the second turn here. They'll probably be at the very end. What do you need? So let's get up here. Copy that. What's up, boss? I need you up ahead, buddy. All right, so we're almost ready to activate these guys. Yeah, one more turn, I think. Good to go. Racing for impact. So let's get her over here. Yes, Commander. Pile on over here just in on. case they do activate and there's guys like right here. Cold metal needs to full sprint up here. Alright, we're ready to go. Okay, Hickory, let's activate these guys. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Let's hope they arrive at the very end. Where are the reinforcements? Because I don't see anybody. Um... They just gonna appear out of nowhere? Um. Receiving you. Okay, recoil. Stay right beside these guys. All on air. Um. I don't know what's going to happen here. Orders. I copy. This is weird. I could have sworn that when they says hostile reinforcements, there should be guys here, but I don't know. It's reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Let all these guys go first. Okay, recoil. Let's get up ahead. Okay, I'm on. So I guess my guess is that they're going to be coming yep. in the next wave from over here, like they normally do. All right, full speed. All right, well, let's get into position. Yes, commander. Um, let's get pylon over here. Full speed, no target. I wonder if I should just be like try and get right on these guys because then if they're really tough because our extraction point is going to be over here 
If it, they're really tough, then we can just get out of here. Ah, uh, let's reserve. Let these guys move up. They're really slow. Um, this guy didn't move? What? Well, normally I just all stand up on the hill here and fire down on them when they come up. Like as soon as they come on the map board, I'll fire on them here. But um, Receiving you. I don't think recoil can go very far or else these vehicles aren't going to move. Okay, it's reserve. Got about two more turns before they start getting in the uh, thing there. It's almost like they want to have one vehicle left over behind just to force you to like fight for at least one turn. Um, I want to get down here where my uh, dead fire missiles can do max damage. Hickory I think is probably going to be okay like over here. Roger. Hmm, maybe we bring her down, I don't know. Commander. Pylon is probably going to be sprinting into action, but I want to leave him here just so that these Roger vehicles that. know where to go. Order. And Recoil, we're just going to step forward a little bit. He's not going to be too much help in this next battle, I don't think. Unless this stuff is really easy to kill. Because he's taking significant damage right now. See, that vehicle didn't move again. Oh, yes, it did. This guy didn't move for some reason. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. All right, let's sprint. Get maximum evasion. I mean, we know they're coming. That's the sad thing about this. Is they don't... It doesn't um, yep. randomize the locations where these guys drop into, unfortunately. Which it should. It should just constantly it should have like four different or five different locations where they could appear from but whatever Ready for orders. Uh, let's get maximum evasion pylon and let's drop into the field over here Going full throttle. okay and recoil let's just get up here I'm so the these guys know where to go All right, here they go. Here comes the reinforcements. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Four lights. Irby, Commando... And power armor? Is that what these guys are? Elementals? Yep, elemental toads. Micropulse, laser cutter, SRM. These guys got full armor? They don't. They got weakened armor. Same Irby as we felt before, our face before. IATM-3 SRMs. SI Heavy Laser. Okay. Um, what do you need? You gotta decide who's the most important target. It's what we gotta need. Um, probably that Urban Mech. That Ultra 10 is terrifying. He's already moved, though. I'm wondering... How much armor these elementals have? Not a whole lot. So... We're not going to get a better chance, I don't think, to try and kill an elemental right off the top. Once they start moving, it's going to be hard to hit. So we might as well try and kill this guy now. Let's fire everything on him. Okay, we took apart his left side. He's going down. <laughs> Two wounds. And we're going to reserve recoil. He's just going to stay back there. It's kind of weird movement. So these guys go.
So I think what we'll do is we'll use the the uh, centurion to try and burrow through the side of the. Uh... Wow. We're gonna try and burrow through the side of the Irby. But since we're probably going to get, already get the Ultra uh, Auto Cannon 10 from one of the other guys, I want to try and. Uh, oh, this guy's not killed, right. Uh, I want to try and get um, that AC 10 off the battlefield. Yeah. Once these guys start moving, they're going to be really hard to hit. Yeah. Okay, so Cold Metal first. Let's get up over here, I think. Jeez, this doesn't give us much, uh... Let's do this. Okay, so we got 29. Let's fire everything. Yeah, it's pretty low chances. Much better on the back of the commando. So let's try and kill that commando. Boom, you're dead. Okay, that helps. And we got pylon. What's up, boss? Um, let's move into here. And let's fire on the side of this guy with everything. Affirmative. Oh, nice shooting. Didn't quite get the arm, but that's okay. Ready for Recoil's ready to move now. So let's get him down to... here. Understood. And we're going to go after this elemental here that we've already hit. Fire everything. I got Okay, one hit. Okay, here comes the dropship. We just got two more units to drop in there, which will be nice once they're there. Thank goodness. All right, get in that in that space, buddy. Oh, never mind. That's kind of weird leg movement there. I'm assuming it's because yes, uh, the leg has been destroyed, but. Okay, what? I can't hit him from there? Are these vehicles not going to move? They might. Um, we got a good chance to kill all these guys anyway, so we're going to pull back here. And we'll fire into the side of this guy that's been damaged already. Hopefully we can kill him. Oh, nice. Couple hits. There we go. Okay, two vehicles are still in there. No, 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 no. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Having a clan Irby would be kind of cool. Um, Hickory. Dickory Dock. Let's see if you can blow this guy up over here. We're gonna fire everything straight in the back of this guy. Okay, so he's gone. Now oh, it's just the Serbi. Yeah, those APCs didn't move. Um, do we want to finish it? Ah, oh, God, I don't know. I don't know if I'm taking a chance here, just going after parts. But let's dump everything into this side of the guy. Alright, where are we? There you go. Alright, pilot, let's get back here to uh, help these guys get out of here. Cool. Waiting for orders. Let's get back over here. You got it. Heat. Okay, does that guy get in there? He did. Three and four. There we go, done. Done, done, done. Let's go. Reserve. Let's end this up, guys. This was a long episode. Objective secured. There they go. Arrivederci. So once again, half skull clan escort missions. Well, this one anyway, generally relatively easy. Lots of good salvage. We got five of 17. All right. 
So we didn't get any penetrations on us, which was good. Nice. Very little experience, but I don't really care about that. Look at all this potential salvage here. Tons of urban mech parts now. We gotta decide what we want. Clan ER large laser. Clan ER medium lasers. These are really good. Uh, clan flamers. Think about these as they weigh half the amount, right? Clan heavy machine gun. What is the IATM here? Improved ATM. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. And I think if we're going to outfit this Irby, what's the range on this? Still 220? Or that's 320 meters. I think we want to take these two. And I think we want to take these guys. Clam medium pulse, regular clam machine. Oh, we want the Ultra 10 too. Ah, it's a hard decision now. What do we take? This is like 0.25 tons. Stump, well, the machine guns. <sighs> Definitely want this. But then there's also Clan Endo Steel, Clan XL engines. Like, I'm crying now because of all the good stuff. This engine we could use for our mechs. XL gyros. Look at all the Clan Double heat sinks. Patchwork materials. Clan Artemis system. Really? 1.1 1 1.5 tons, like half the weight. Actually, if I take this. If I replace the, the two LRMs I've got in the Centurion and take this. I think. That's going to be a huge upgrade. Now this I, IATM, three evasion pips ignored by the weapon, plus two accuracy. <sighs> Fires LRM ammo. Can it use special ammunition types? It does. Uses LRM ammo bin. Oh man, what a hard choice. Imagine putting these three into the Centurion. Um, oh God, what a mission. Light tag, it's like a half ton. Okay, I think that's probably what we're going to go with. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with this. And cross our fingers on getting other good stuff. Uh, I've got an elemental part. Yeah, really. Two prana, three prana parts and an urban mech part. We've got an ER medium. Nice. Clan flamer. Two laser cutters, crap. LRM 15, nice. A couple regular heat sinks, patchwork materials, that's awesome. And LRM dead fire ammo, that's kind of cool. All right, nice. Okay, 20,000 repairs, which is excellent. Eight days. We'll manage our tasks here in a second. So let's just check this here. So we're going to go uh, this route. Yeah, because that'll be five days. Centurion will be back first, which was what we want. Um, so I think when we come back next time, we're going to refit our mechs with the new gear. Hopefully we can take a mission where we can get some cash because we're starting to run short. Although we do have some stuff we can sell, which I might do between episodes because uh, this one was really, really long. But if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please please feel free to do please feel free to do so. I've got uh, other stuff on my, um, on my channel as well, so go check out my channel. And until next time, we'll see you all later.